In today's video, I'll be showing you the best method to gain V-Bucks in Save the World. Before we start, the only way to get V-Bucks through Save the World is if you have the Founders Edition, meaning you can only get V-Bucks if you bought Save the World when it released. There's four main methods to gaining V-Bucks, so let me show you them. First of all, every day you'll have three daily quests. I can show them here since I've already done them, but basically, there'll be simple challenges you'll have to complete, such as destroying fire trucks or killing husks, and doing them will reward you with 80 to 100 V-Bucks. Some of you may think this is a lot more than before, and you're right. They increased the number of V-Bucks you get from daily missions, and instead, they entirely removed the daily login reward system, which kinda sucks. As of now, I just realized, you don't get three quests a day, you only get one quest, and you have a three daily quest limit. Also, you have to log in, so you can't just go offline for three days and expect a bunch of quests. For the second method, in each map, you'll have a storm shield, and you can complete the storm shield defenses for even more V-Bucks. Each storm shield gives 100 V-Bucks, and the final one gives you 150 V-Bucks, leaving you with 1050 V-Bucks after completing one storm shield. And there's four storm shields in total across all of Save the World, so you'll have another 4200 V-Bucks just off of the storm shields. Another way to earn V-Bucks is through the challenge quests. Three of these challenge quests can give you V-Bucks, and they have multiple parts, so you can keep earning V-Bucks through things like killing missed monsters or killing mimics. It's a very good way to earn V-Bucks as you can just play the game while slowly completing each challenge. After finishing all the V-Buck challenges, you'll have another 2600 V-Bucks. For the final way to earn V-Bucks in Save the World, occasionally, there will be missions that will reward you with V-Bucks. These missions usually come once every day, and they can give you 30 to 100 V-Bucks each mission. I would recommend using a mission tracker, such as Free the V-Bucks or STW Planner, so you'll always know when and which map these missions will be in. Anyways, that's all for this video. If you learned something important or enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it would really be appreciated. See ya.